Hey, Kevin, what are you looking at? Well, I'm watching the big guy here print, and I'm going to have to change its filament here real quick. This is the last little bit left over from the last job we did, you know, the first job this printer did. So you can see this is all, all the filament I got left in the machine, but I got another whole spool up there. So I'm just waiting for that to come around a little bit, then I'll pause it, jerk that one out, feed the other one in, put it back to work. So I'm just waiting for this to come around a little bit more. No sense wasting it. Oh, this is a sculpture called Vessel. I, I did it as a commission, a possible commission for a private home here in town, but they bought a, a different sculpture that I had already done. So I thought, what the heck, let's print it out and see what it looks like in real life. How big will it be? Uh, this will be about four foot tall. And probably about, you know, 18, 20 inches across. Now, could you change to a different color filament here? Oh, sure. Yeah, you can put any color you want in there. As long as it's three millimeter thickness. So it'll fit down through the hole, you know, down through the drive. This is the drive roller with a little motor in the back of a little gear-driven motor. And then this is the Bowden tube that goes down into the print head itself, to the extruder head, where it melts the plastic, and then the drive wheel, you know, the, the, the feed roller, squirts it out the other end. But yeah, you can put any color you want in there. It's just that you wind up with, you know, sections. And you can't blend the color. Well, this is coming up pretty close here. So let me just go ahead and pause it. Make sure you hit the pause button, not the kill button. <laughs> Go. Cool. All you got to do is just release it. You just come in here with your flush cutters. You know, they're called flush cutters because on this end it's smooth. So you can get it, you can get something right down to a surface and you know cut it off. But I just want to come in here and get rid of this little bent end. Well, I can do a little better job than that. <laughs> yeah, that's what happens when you don't hold your tongue right. off the end right there just a little bit and feed the new one in. You snip that off at an angle though, don't you? Yeah. And tell it, get back to work. And there'll be no gap or anything? No, because there was still molten filament in the print pan itself. You know, in the extruder head, all I did was pull it up from behind, you know, and put the new stuff in, so it'll start, it'll pick up right there again, and it should work just fine. So there's no gap, there's no skip or anything like that in the print, you know, and you get about that much left over out of a, out of a, a full spool that you just can't use. So we're going to let this print. I'm going to go take a break. I'll see you guys next time. Sounds uh, propitious there. Well, it sounds like I'm not going to need this new spool. 